How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. And uh, let's go ahead and jump in with our warm up. So come on down to your hands and knees. Good. And we want to keep the knees right under the hips, hands right underneath of the shoulders. And let's press the back of the head toward the tailbone, pressing your chest toward the floor. Inhale here. And then exhale, press your forehead to the knee as you press the middle of the back up, exhaling. Good, let's repeat that. Inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale. Excellent. And let's go ahead and return our spine to neutral. And from here, let's go ahead and push the hip to the floor and lift up through your chest, looking up at the ceiling. Good. Just a few seconds here, and then we're going to push back into a child pose, pressing your armpits to the floor. Good. Let's press back up again to our seal. Stretch. Good. And then push back into our child pose again. Think armpits to the floor. Awesome. Press back up to your hands and knees. And I want you to take your right arm, and you're going to reach your right arm under you, pressing your right shoulder to the floor. And then you're going to take this right arm out from under you and reach it behind you as far as you can. And we're just going to repeat that. Press under and then press back. Good. And let your eye line follow your right hand. Good. Pressing under and pressing back. Give me one more on this side. Press it under and then press it back. Good. Switch sides. So left arm now reaches underneath of your shoulder to the floor. Take that right, left hand, reach back, let your head follow the hand, and we repeat that. We reach under first, and we reach back. Reach it under, and reach it back. Give me two more here, reach it under. Good, reach it back. One more time, reach it under, and reach it back. Awesome, and now let's flip over, have a seat. Good. Excellent. You're going to walk your hands behind you and try to bring your hands as close together as you can behind you. And if your pinkies can touch, that's even better. Keep your arms straight, pull the shoulder blades back. And then from here, we're going to inch the hip forward. And you're going to start feeling this stretch through the biceps and through the shoulders and through the chest. Just go as far as it's comfortably uncomfortable. Don't get to the point where it's excruciating. Make sure your heels are on the floor and your feet are wider than shoulders. And we're going to swivel the hips internally. And we're just going to go one at a time here. Just try to drive the inside of the knee as close to the ground as you can. And we're switching legs here, alternating from one side to the other side. Just give me one more on each side. Good. And good. Excellent. And bring the arms back up. Yeah. Probably want to shake those arms out a little bit here. Cool. Good. Let's press back up to the hands and knees. And let's go one knee down and then one foot forward, two 90 degree bends in the hips here, or in the knees. And we're going to drive the hip to the floor, feeling that stretch to the top of the uh, hip there, through the thigh. And then push back, straighten the front leg and reach for your toe. Good. So we're getting our hip and quad on this first part of the stretch. And then we're getting our hamstring on this second part of the stretch. Let's do this one more time. Good. And push it back right here. Just like that, switch sides. And first thing we do is going to press the hip down. Good. And we're going to push it back. And when you're pushing it back, try to straighten this front leg by pressing the back of the knee to the floor and reach out for your toe. Good. Get that hip and hamstring stretch. And if you can't reach your toe, you can just put your hand on your shin. That's fine too. One more time. Push it forward and then press it back. Get that stretch. Good. And then we'll return back to our hands and knees. And let's tuck the toes under and press the tailbone up to the ceiling. And pushing your chest back toward your feet, try to get both heels down to the floor. Or you can just simply step one at a time. Push the hips up, pressing your chest down and back. Good. And then walk your hands back toward your feet. And let's get a wide stance if it isn't already wide. Take your right hand, touch your left foot. Left hand touches the right foot. Just a little pendulum swing here. Make sure that the legs stay nice and straight. Good. Excellent. Couple more here. Awesome. And place your fingertips on the floor. Let's walk the feet in. And we got to do our squat position here. Work that. Open the hips up by pressing against the knees with your elbows, lifting through your chest. 
Good, and then take your left hand, grab your right ankle, and then reach your right arm up to the sky, pressing inside that opposite thigh. Get a little extra rotation there, switch sides. Right here. Good. Excellent. Elbows back inside the knees, hands on the floor, lean forward, push the knees out just a little bit further. Awesome. Rock back to your heels, then we straighten both legs as we drop the head. One more little stretch on the hamstrings there before you bend the knees slightly. Curl the spine, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. All the way up, give me those shoulder rolls. Up, back, down, and forward. We're gonna go a few times one way, and then we switch direction for a few. You guys know the drill. Okay, get those shoulders nice and loose. Good, hands on your hips, chin to your chest, and let's roll the neck up. Yep, about four or five times, one direction, and then we switch direction. Good, awesome. Excellent, looking straight ahead, make an X shape with your forearms and just chop your arms back. Nice little stretch through the chest, getting those shoulders warmed up. We are gonna use those a little bit today, but like I said, today's gonna be a lot more lower body focus. Let's get some rotations happening. There is gonna be some core involved, so don't worry. I got you. Good, a few more here. Take it into some jumping jacks. Tap the fingers and slap the thighs, give me a bow. 10 seconds here, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And extend the arms out in front of your chest. Let's go seal jacks here. Good, about 10 seconds again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's pump the knees. Nice, easy pace here. Trying to get those knees up as high as you can. You can let your upper body shake out a little bit. And then we're gonna pump those knees a little bit faster and then as fast as you can go. And hold this for five, four, three, two, and one time. Okay, so first exercise, or first set of exercises, the protocol today, we're gonna do some supersets. Two exercises back to back, okay? I've got one, two, three, four, five rounds of supersets, two exercises back to back. The first, the third, and the fifth round, of our supersets, we're gonna work 40 seconds on with a 20 second break, real simple. 40 on, 20 off, and we'll do eight rounds, four of each exercise. And then for round two and round four, we're gonna kick up the speed a little bit. We're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we'll switch between the two exercises for six rounds, three each, okay? So just giving you a quick overview. So let's get down to what we're doing here, we're gonna go over the first two exercises is all we need to know. So for these first two exercises, you will need one dumbbell and then one matching set of dumbbells. And you can use the same here. If you don't have different sizes, I'm using a little heavier for the first exercise. So exercise one, okay? Like I said, it's gonna be 40 seconds. So we're gonna go 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. So I'm holding the dumbbell on my left hand. I'm gonna step out on my right leg. Notice both feet are facing forward. I'm gonna reach the hip back I'm gonna row to my hip. I'm gonna push off this right leg and come back up to the standing position. So push the butt back, we go row and we stand. If you wanna add a little extra intensity to this, you can push back up after you row and flip the dumbbell up to your shoulder. Or if you're feeling extra, extra energetic today, bang, you can press that dumbbell overhead. All right, that's gonna be 40 seconds on each side. And then, with one leg back and one leg forward, holding the dumbbells down by your hips like suitcases, we're gonna drop the back knee down, tapping the floor, curl, punch overhead. We tap the floor, we curl, and we punch overhead. Those are our two exercises. And then this one, obviously we'll be doing 20 seconds on each side. So that is where we're starting. It's just as simple as that. Grab your one dumbbell. I've got the timer set, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We go, left arm loaded, right leg working, three, two, one. Step it out here, we row and push back up, okay? Row, push back up again. You can flip to the shoulder, row, or if you're feeling it, you can flip overhead. But remember, we got overhead presses coming up after this. So you might wanna be a little conservative on those shoulder exercises. Give me one more here. Good, switch sides, switch legs, here we go, good. Pull and then push up. Make sure we're reaching our hip back. 
Knee is tracking out toward the second toe. And we pull that dumbbell back to the hip. Three, two, one, and time. It's that simple. You get a 20 second break. Nice big old 20 second break. And again, now with two extras, two dumbbells, we're gonna drop it down, curl, and press overhead. Let's get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one, go. We drop down, we curl, and we punch. Repeat. Tap the back knee, curl, punch. And remember, anytime you're pressing overhead, you wanna make sure the biceps track along the ears. So it's like you're covering your ears with your biceps. Good, give me one more here. Curl and punch, and we switch legs. Let's get right to it. Tap that back knee, curl, punch overhead. Go, tap, curl, punch. Let's do it. And we're breathing here. Connecting your breath, these movements, and time, simple. Just like I like it. All right, that was one round of the two. We're gonna go three more. So we're back to our side lunge with our row at the bottom. We go in, five, four, three, two, one, go. Push your butt back, pull to the hip, push off, one. I don't know why I'm counting. It's a bad trainer habit. <laughs> and push, good. Keep the back nice and flat, especially when you're pushing up out of this low position. We want a nice flat back there. Otherwise, if we're rounded, we could put some damage on that lumbar. Switch sides, we don't want that. We pull, push off that leg. Chest is always present. Nice flat back. Drop the hip back, pull and push, time. All right, back to our split squat with our curl and press. Good, nice and tall here. Let the legs do all the work. The tendency sometimes is to want to lean forward here. So make sure you're dropping the back knee down. Here we go. Good, and keeping the hip and shoulders stacked over that back knee. Curl, and we punch, and tap, curl, punch, tap, curl, punch. Come on, give me one more. Curl, punch it, step forward to switch sides. Let's get right to it, go. Tap that back knee, punch. Press overhead again, biceps tracking along the ears. Come on, three, two, one, time. All right, halfway through this first round. I gotta be careful dropping these dumbbells with bare feet. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds. And we're back to our side lunge. Three, two, one. Let's do it, push your butt back. Boom, pull, press, keep your core engaged. Oh, especially pushing off. Keep that core engaged to protect the lumbar. Chest is up. Come on. And we're switching sides right to it. Go. Here. Pull. Push the floor away. Pull and push. Got that proud chest right there. Come on. And push. Three, two, one, time. We are back to our split squat curl press. 10 seconds. Here we go. Right foot back, left foot forward, tap that back knee. Let's go. Now if you have pain tapping that back knee, then just go as low as you need to to not feel the pain. But if you're pain free, get that knee down. Looking for 90 degree bends on both knees. Punch it, come on, tap it, curl, switch feet. Step forward to switch. Here we go, right to it. Tap, curl, punch, go. Punch it, 
Come on. Give me one more. Time. All right. We got one more left of these two. And then we move on to a little quicker speed. A little shorter work time, but a little shorter rest time. All right, let's get to it. Grab that dumbbell. Left arm loaded, right leg working. Three, two, one, let's go. Push it back. Pull, push. Pull, push. Get that core engaged. Tight belly protects the spine. Push, come on. And let's switch sides, right to it, go. Come on, load up in those hips. We don't want the knee getting way out, we want to push the hip back. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, we got our last set here and then we'll move on to our second round. Get ready to rock, here we go. Right leg back, left leg forward. Three, two, one. Come on, drop it down. Curl, punch, go. Come on. Good, keep that breath active. Lungs are working. Chest is proud. And switch sides. Step forward to do that. Here we go. Good. Lots of breath here. You're going to hear lots of sounds coming from me. My lungs get working. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. Just like that. Grab yourself a sip of water. Towel off if you need to. And let's move on. All right, I'm gonna set my timer up here. So next, we are going to go 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Y'all might know this as a Tabata protocol, but typically Tabata is eight rounds. We're gonna do six, three each. Two different exercises. We'll do a little plyometrics here. This is gonna to be tough on the legs. So we're gonna come down to about a half squat, okay? Definitely don't want you way down here. You can try to get your thighs parallel to the ground here, but it's a tough move. So just, just know it's gonna work your legs pretty good. So from here, we're gonna hop out and then hop in. And we're just gonna continue that for 20 seconds, okay? Couple things here. Make sure that your knees are always tracking toward the toes. The tendency is to want to do something like this when you hop out, but the knees don't. Make sure you're opening up those knees. So the knees and the toes are tracking. And also, again, you don't have to be way down here. You can be up on this just a little bit. All right, but stay bouncy in the knees. Stay buoyant in your knees. Next move, you'll need a dumbbell for this, something on the lighter side. Don't have to use a dumbbell if you don't want. I'll show you an alternative. But we're gonna do a figure eight. So I'm gonna take my one dumbbell, my knees are bending 90 degrees, I'm gonna reach my dumbbell in between my legs, I'm gonna reach around my left thigh, grabbing the dumbbell with my left hand, and I'm gonna switch. So you're just doing a figure eight around your thighs. Now, the cheat on this, so you're gonna to have to self-correct yourself here, the cheat is to bring your knees up like so, okay? And just mainly work at hip flexors there. Get your shoulders up so that we're flexing in your torso. All right, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three rounds each, total of six sets. Here we go. Five, four, three, right here. Arms in front, hop out, hop in, out, in, chest up. Now, if you want a little extra something, grab a dumbbell and hold on to it. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Make sure those knees are tracking. But if you want to grab the dumbbell, you go right ahead. But as you can see, this gets a burn and time. Shake him out. You got 10 seconds. It's going to go by real fast. Five, four, right hand. Reach in between the legs. Grab with your left around the left thigh. And then the other one. 
And remember, we're not doing this. We're reaching those shoulders up and we're getting that crunch. Whew. Lower back stays on the floor. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. Just that easy. We got two more rounds. Here we go. Three, two, one right here. Hop it out. In. Knees are opening. Good. Now definitely the lower you are, the harder this is. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. Shake them out. Yep. That gets the job done. Grab your dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Reach. And reach it. Get those shoulders off the floor. Squeeze the belly. We're not bringing the knees to you. You're bringing your shoulders to your thighs. Time. All right, y'all. We got one more of each. And we'll move on. Here we go. Let's go here. Breathing. Keep that chest up. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. All right, last set of our figure eights. And we go into round three. Ooh, that was by quick. Three, two, one, go. Right here. Reach that dumbbell out. Breathing. Come on. Three, two, one, time. Just like that, simple. All right, we are moving on. We are gonna go back to our original 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for round three. So next, we're gonna do some bridging, some hip bridges. We're gonna make these single leg. We're gonna give you a little challenge here. So simply put, lying back, one heel is in the floor, the other heel faces the ceiling. And you press through that bottom heel, getting that hip up high and squeezing your butt and lower back down. We're right here. Now, if you need a little extra something, grab a dumbbell, set that sucker on your hip, and now you're really working against some resistance, getting the hamstrings and those glutes a run for their money. Then, we're gonna pop up and do windmills. I've been leaning on these lately. They're great for shoulder stability and also great for obliques and hips. And since we're working in the frontal plane on these, they can come off a little awkward. So make sure that we're doing these right. So my left foot is forward. My right toe is turned out at about 45 degrees. I could do this two ways. I can top load, right? So if my right toe is out, my left arm is loaded and I'm using that resistance, right? Against the obliques and the shoulders and so on and so forth. Now, if the shoulders are really tight, right? And you'll know it because when you go down, you're doing something like this with your arm, then bottom load these, right? Bottom load them so we can make sure that we're always reaching that top arm. I got really tight shoulders, so I am gonna bottom load. For the most part, I might top load. You can also load both, and I might just go light on the top, heavy on the bottom. That's gonna be 20 seconds each side. The bridges are gonna be 20 seconds each leg. I've done way too much talking. Let's get to working. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Push, exhale. Good, really dig that heel into the floor. The more you dig the heel, the more you're gonna get your glutes. You rise up to the balls of the foot, and now you get those calves working. So you can switch in between the two, go down to the heel, and then go up to the ball of the foot. Go down through the heel, and up through the ball of the foot. Switch sides. Good, press that hip up. Exhale. Come on. Let's go, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Woo, well done. 
we're going into our windmills. So I'm gonna bottom and top load. I'm gonna go lighter on the top, heavier on the bottom. Let's get ready. So left toe forward, right toe is out. I'm gonna load heavy on the right side, lighter on the left. Push your hip away and drop down. Look up at that top dumbbell. Press it up, always reaching. Here we go. And up. Try to keep both legs straight. But if you need to bend a knee, bend the knee at this angled out leg. And back up, come on. And up, let's switch. Right to it, go. See this shoulder's super tight. I'm gonna go no weight here. Gotta be honest sometimes about where you're at with your flexibility and your strength. Three, two, one, give me one more. And back. We dug into our rest time a little bit, but that transition was a little, mm. so there you go. All right, we're back to our bridges. Get ready, three, two, one. Let's go, push through. And again, you could switch back and forth between the heel and the ball of the foot. Keep it going. Got about five more seconds on this side. Three, two, one, switch legs, go. Now try not to swing this top leg like so, swinging it, because that's just generating momentum. We want to take that out. We want to use your glutes and your hamstrings to lift it up the hip. Here we go. Three, two, one, top. Excellent. Yeah, feel those hamstrings working. 10 seconds and we are back to our windmills. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Push the hip away. Make sure we're always reaching. In other words, we don't do this at the top. Always reaching. Come on. Give me one more. And switch it. And go right away. And up. Nice and tall. We got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. And time. Whew. Okay, that was halfway through this third superset. We're back to our bridging. Let's get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Now if you prefer driving through the heel or if you prefer ball of the foot, you do whatever works for you. Come on. Three, two, one, let's switch sides, go. And you can even do this without the dumbbell if you want. Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo! Getting my sweat on. All right, 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. And back up. Get tall. And remember, look, bicep to the ear, right? This isn't about speed, all right? Just working through range of motion, taking your time with it. And go ahead and switch sides. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings. Feel the obliques working, the core's working, the hips are stretching. Getting that reach through the shoulder. Come on. Three, two, one, time. Okay. 
We got one more each. And then we move on. Let's get down for our bridges. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Push. Exhale as you push that hip up. Come on, exhale. That's right. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides, right to it, let's go. Heel, ball of the foot. Gotta keep that backside tight. Those are the muscles we don't see in the mirror. The really important muscles. One and time. All right. Okay, we got our last set of these windmills. And then we move on. Here we go. Five, four, three, right here. Let's do it. Push the hip, looking up. Dropping as low as you can go and back up. And again, if you need to bend a knee, load the knee that is angled out like so. Or just try not to bend it at all. It should be nice and warm now. You should be able to get deeper into that stretch. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Right to it, go. And look up. 10 more seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. We are done with that. Whew. All right, you know the drill. Sip of water, towel off. And we're going back to our 2010 for six rounds. All right. And now we're gonna do some high knees with the freeze, high knees with the freeze. So, with my right knee up, left arm forward, right arm back, I'm gonna switch two times, switch, switch, and then I'm gonna hold whoop, on the third. All right, so we go. Switch, switch, hold. Switch, switch, hold. Switch, switch, hold. The opposite arm is always the extended arm, just like walking, all right? And then the second exercise, we're gonna come down into a plank position. And what I want you to do is lift your hip up, reach down and tap the opposite toe. So my left hand goes to my right toe, my right hand goes to my left. So we're working a little core here, working a little hips, and also our hamstring flexibility. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, six rounds. Let's do it, here we go. Five, four, and get those knees up right here. Go, up, up, hold, up, up, hold. Get those knees up. It's not this, right? It's not that. It's high knees. The higher the knees, the better. Come on. Three, two, one, time, simple. Now, if the plank and reaching toward the toes too tough, maybe you got some tight hamstrings, then just tap your shoulders instead. Let's go. We're here, and we're here. Here. Now, like I said, if this is too tough, just tap the shoulders like that. Keep it going. Come on. Three, two, one, time. Back up to our high knee freeze. Five, four, Three, two, right here. Go, up, up, hold. Get those knees up. Freeze. Come on. Five seconds. Time. Back to our plank. Let's get the heart rate up. Here we go. Go, and then back, and then back. Or just tap the shoulders. Come on. 
Come on. Three, two, one. One more of each. Here we go. Go. Up, up, hold. Swing the arms. Opposite of the legs. Get those knees up. Don't skimp on that. Three, two, one, time. All right, last one here. Three, two, one, go. Tap it. Press that hip back down and lift it up and tap. Come on. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay. We are on our fifth and three, final two, superset. One. Done. Last one is going to be 40 20. 40 on, 20 off. Obviously, two exercises. Here are your next two exercises. So, we're going to do a thruster complex. Thruster is a squat into an overhead press. So, I got two dumbbells loaded at my shoulders. I'm going to squat and press. Bang. That is a thruster. Okay? I'm going to demonstrate this without the dumbbells. Imagine dumbbells. So, we're breaking it up. We're going to go three squat, one, two, three. Three overhead press, one, two, three. And then three thrusters, one, two, three. And we're going to repeat that as many times as we can in 40 seconds. And then we're going to hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to roll back. We're going to extend the dumbbells over the chest. Extend through the elbows. Reach your feet out in front of you. We're going to bring both arms up, or legs, haha, up to one arm. Bring it down nice and slow. And up to the other arm. And bring, yes, my hip is going to lift up off the mat. Okay, nice and slow on the way down. Nice and quick on the way up. That's a tough one there. If you need to modify, put the dumbbells down and just put your hands under your butt and just do these guys instead. A little easier that way. Only if you need to. Only if you need to. Here we go. Last set, everybody. Last round. Give me eight more minutes. Let's do this. Thruster complex. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me three squats. Go. One. Elbows to the knees. Two. Three. Three overhead press. One. Two, three, three thrusters, go. One, use that momentum coming out of the squat to press overhead, back to your squats, go. Overhead press, one, two, three. Give me those thrusters. One, two, look at this. Three, perfect. Two solid rounds. We're back to our floor wipers. Or just leg lifts. Your call here. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, right here. Reach those legs out. Come up to one arm, down slow, down the middle, up to the other arm, and down the middle. That's right. This is going to challenge you. Don't let those elbows bend. Keep the elbows locked out. Keep the legs as straight as you can get them. The tendency is to want to do this. Fight that. Come on. Let's go. Remember the modification would be right here. Just doing good old fashioned leg lifts. I'm going to run out the timer here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. This is a tough final round. Woo! All right. We are back to our thruster complex. Three squats, three press, three thrusters. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Let's go. One, two, three overhead press. One, two, three thrusters. One, keep your breath going. Three, give me those squats, go. One, two, overhead press. One, two, three, thrusters. One, two, perfect timing. Whew. Shake it out, breathe. Let's get ready, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, 40 seconds. You can do this for 40 seconds. Like laying one vertebrae down at a time. Take your time with this one. Keep those legs nice and straight. Come on. We got less than 10 seconds. Woo! Let's go. And time. Excellent job. That was halfway. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 10 seconds back to our thruster complex. Fight around, best round. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat. Go. One, two, three. Overhead press. One. Pull the dumbbells to you. Punch and then pull them down. Three. Thrusters. One, two. Let's repeat all that. Squats. Let's go. Make sure the knees are tracking. Out toward the second toe. Press. Pull them to you. Two, three. Give me those thrusters. Push the floor away. And time. Shake it out. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Up and slow. You know the drill here. Come on. Remember, when these start to get really hard and you're bending your knees and it's just all over the place, then set the dumbbells down and just do these guys. Okay? Be honest with yourself. Right here. Come on, 15 seconds. Come on. I know it hurts. It's tough, but that's okay. That's why we're here. Three, two, one. Find that struggle. That's where we need to be. All right, here we are, final round. One more of each. We got this. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go, three squats. Drop those hips. Overhead press. One, two, three. Rust those. One, two, three. Come on, squats. Right to it. Get that ch press chest proud. Ah. Overhead press. One. Pull to you. Two. Lower slowly. Three. Let's go. Three. Two. One. I will take that rest. All right. We just got 40 more seconds. That's it. And I'll get you out of here. Let's get to it. Three, 
two, one, come on. We're not scared. We got this. This is where that mindset has to come into play. Just tell yourself you could do this. Because if you need to, you just simply modify. But you modify because you need to, not because you just want to. Come on. Ha. Let's give me five more seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Just like that. All right, real quick, real quick. Stay with me here. Back to your hands and knees. Back of the head to the tailbone. Forehead to the knee. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Give me one more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Excellent. Let's widen our knees here. Let's just rock back and forth through the hip flexors. Get those legs some work today. Let's just give them some love. Good. And the more you sit back into the stretch, the deeper. Good. Extend your right leg out and continue rocking into it. Great job out there today. Which sides? Good. And let's go both legs out. Right? You could go heels down, toes up. Should be nice and warm now. Good. And let's walk our feet in now to about hip distance. Slight bend to the knee. Let's curl the spine and roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Sorry about the phone call there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you got a good workout in. I'll see y'all next time.